Now let's talk about alerts. And it's okay if your view is a little bit different than my view because I have already created an alert and triggered it before I record this lecture. Now let's go ahead and create a new alert rule. And as you can see here, it's assigned for our API management instance in the courses subscription and dev resource group. Now let's go ahead and create the condition. And those are the metrics that we have talked about before, and I'm going to go ahead and select the capacity metric. And the dimension name I'm going to be Australia East because I have only one instance for my API management instance. And I'm going to select a static threshold if the value is going to be greater than 1%. And the aggregation granularity is five minutes and the evaluation runs every one minute. So what this means that every one minute we are going to evaluate the last five minutes of the capacity metric to see if the average capacity metric is more than 1% of utilization, then it's going to trigger the alert. Now let's go ahead and add the condition. And let's select the action group to be application insight smart detection. And let's name this alert rule to be capacity alert dev resource group severity level zero. And let's go ahead and create the alert. Now it's going to take a minute or so for the alert to be evaluated because that's how or what we have specified in the alert configuration. So I'm going to pause my recording until the alert has been triggered and then we'll get back to you. Now the alert has been triggered. As you can see here, the severity zero has got one alert. And if we click on it, we will see that our alert has been triggered. The capacity alert has been fired for the API management instance. And we can get into it to see what actually was the configuration we have created for this alert. That's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and please feel free to join me in the next lecture.